What's going on guys and welcome back to City Skylines. Welcome. We're finally making a profit. As from last episode, we are making a profit and it actually feels great. It is a bit annoying it's night right now because I can't actually see a thing. But um, yeah, welcome back to City Skylines. And today is a big one because today we're going to be working on our public transport. We're going to be setting up bus depots. We're going to be doing a lot of things in the public transport department. Uh, also solving a few issues having with the population we may be gaining money but we're gaining we're losing people well i think we have got so a few things out for one i do think the rent is a tiny little bit too high over here so we are going to head over to taxation just a second and move that down just a notch uh that should solve the rent issue around here which is what i want to do and then we need to figure out what to do next we've got a lot of traffic issues what time of day is it though it's important uh, it's seven o'clock maybe it's rush hour annoying thing that i really want to figure out as well because of traffic issues as we know is how do we stop cars parking on the fucking road because that is a nightmare in itself it's causing all sorts of blockage i mean to be honest it's real life you have cars parked, but we should have double yellows in place on main roads um, I wish you there was an option to do that. There might be an option that I don't know about, but uh, we'll have to see. Anyway, I'm ready to go back and see these guys. We're getting a profit. And it's all because of the industrial area with the stone quarries, the farms. Everything is playing its part to make profits because the more industrial we have around this area really does skyrocket the profits. Now, we are still having higher rate problems. Let's lower it down the notch again. Does that have to be hugely? A notch is that. Is that going to work? As long as we still turn a profit. It seems whatever I do, the high rent consists and it's annoying. Right. But first of all, right, guys, we actually need to build some more residential. But if we're going to do that, remember our rule. Tiny commercial residential massive. That is what we need to do. I think it will help the population. So that's what we're going to do. Obviously, we're not going to build it in the industrial area. We're going to find a little place I like to call here is a great place. For example, we got a nice little bridge we could make, you know, over. I think we were planning on doing this, but we gave up on the idea. Maybe we should revisit it. So the whole idea is, is to get this residential area, make a bridge over the water. And that was it. Now, it's dark right now. I can't see a damn thing. It's the one of the most irritating things about this game. But uh, let's start with that. So first, we need to make a tunnel over this. So we need to basically make a bridge over. Uh, to do that, should we go for the old double bridge? Maybe one of these. Yeah. Go higher road. And then we need to tunnel through. So that's it. So we'll start with that. We seem to have lost track of our road, but I can see it there. How do we reattach? Oh, apparently this works. Wait, hold on. Going over the mountain instead, like that. Oh, wait, never mind. I guess we could delete the road. And then use the new road. Whoa, that's a that's a steep old road. Can a car even get over that? It actually does look pretty cool. I might keep it. Can we add like a bridge section though with the? Yeah, we can add one of them. That's good. I actually kind of like that. It, it's like a very rough road, but it looks cool. I might be funny. I don't know if cars could get up that. That's madness. But I do like it. I don't know why. It just it does look good. Right, okay, so let's add that new area in anyway. So get normal roads now, because we've got to focus. So I think we should make a roundabout next. Shouldn't we? So as we're getting off, so. Can we just make one with what we have? 
We're going to roundabout, get the highest one. Is that going to look weird? Now that's going to look weird. So let's carry on using the road for now. To get to here. Then we can make a proper roundabout. So we'll go to... Where is it? Where are you? Forgot where you are. It's been a while since I played. Perfect. Roundabout. Right. Now we can start our new residential area. So grab the roads. Make a nice long road to the edge here. Ooh, wait a sec. This could be a cool idea. Join that back up. There you go. That's two ways round now. It's a very low bridge. But it looks cool. Mm, we went a little bit too far, actually. Maybe we delete that bit of the road. There you go. But there you go, guys. There's like two ways over. So that's now going to connect that up. You've got two types of bridges over and out. So... What we need to do now is set up the residential area now that we've done that. I think we just make this as straight as we can. So just get the road, place it down like this. I am obviously should have gridded this out, but I think this might actually work out better like this anyway. So, yeah. Sometimes making your own is better, I guess, than using the old grid system. I think that'll do, because I don't want to go too mad with this area. Because we've got a third, the roundabout's going to connect on three sides. Here's where I'm thinking using side roads, so smaller roads, basically. So these type of roads. Now, have a big main road first, though, and it will turn into an alley road. And use the grid system here. Right, so here's what I'm thinking then for this part of the uh, of the residential areas. Now, we obviously are, are losing money again due to highway mate, uh, road maintenance. So let's pause and let's uh, set up this properly. So remember, two things to watch out for. We're going to need commercial. Not a lot of commercial. And in the center piece. So this bit here, I think we should add some little roads. Maybe some little alleyways, actually. So I'd say around here... Add alleyway. Yeah, so that's one alleyway I did. And then do another one here. This then connects up the commercial area, which is what I was talking about. How many squares is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. So that's all connected up now. And this is where the commercial area is going to go. Bang on here. So that's it for the commercial. And the rest, as you know, will be residential. But before we put any of that down, let's add a car park. Because I think it's a good idea. Only a small one. There you go. And now the rest can be any commercial. You could have... I suppose near the shops, you could put medium density houses. Then normal density, obviously, around there and all around here. And then that should do it, right? Do we need any light? High? No. So they ask you for medium and and uh, low. So they are. That's a good amount of uh, houses compared to commercial. So there you go. That's another bit set up. Right. So if we play now. That should all start to grow. Yep. Yeah, perfect. And as you can see, all power is connected. We have to have a check just to be sure on the services, how water's doing. Let's have a quick check on power. Yeah, availability is fine. But there you are. That's like a new area set up perfectly across two bridges. So I think we should obviously add those bridge towers in. Oh, it's not letting me do it. I was, let me put one there, but... That's got to stay open, it looks like. Is this going to cause problems? I mean, it's a tiny little... Oh, wait, what's the issue here? Pause. Why water not? Oh, uh, of course, pipelines can't go over bridges. 
So we play now, that should fix. Yep, there you go. And as soon as it turns day, I'm actually go. Yep, we're making money again. Jobs are good. And so nice to be making money. Obviously, we don't want to go too mad. We increased our residential demand, which means now we have a nice little bit of commercial, some high street housing as well. So it's a little bit, a little bit, you know, it's not all just one area. I do like the roundabout in the center here. I think it works well. I do like that. So that's nice. So yeah, it's all looking good. I'm liking this. The little river. It's a very steep bridge. I'm, I'm, I don't know if cars could drive up that, but we'll see. It's interesting to see though. It's a little bit different design. I kind of like it. And this new area looking is looking nice. So it's now time to set up. What's going on here? Oh, waiting for hers. Oh yeah, it's a good thing. How's our death doing? Healthcare. Uh, crematorium not so great however we should probably look into the crematorium areas so we can get the crematorium because there is a upgrade we could do with the cemetery to get the crematorium so oh there it is unlock and a hospital as well there's two options there upgraded uh right it's day so let's pause so we can actually see now so it's still asking for high rent over here which is a bit interesting. I'm not too sure why it's asking for that. But... I don't want to loan the money anymore. But it does look like they're leaving and I am gaining um, residents, which is what we want. So, healthcare, fine. Management garbage, not so fine. We need to add a landfill somewhere. And I was thinking... Well, we got our farm area, haven't we? We could add it here because there's no residential. Oh, wait. We literally have a, an industrial area. You know what? There you go. Of a landfill here. And then we can make it bigger. There. Are. This is an extra place. And then we can grab uh, a garbage truck deep. Is that what it's called? No, where can we place that? Here? Yeah, it makes sense. Right at the back. So there's a landfill. That should help garbage go up a bit. Did it? I oh, actually know it did. Yeah. Uh, okay on costs. Seems okay. We are paused right now, but that's fine. I can't see garbage being too much of a problem in an industrial area, but we'll see. But yeah, you're really starting to see the wood pile up now, look. From all, like, the chopping of wood from the forestry. All starting to take effect, isn't it? Can't believe that my city looks so small still, but, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, let's stop getting distracted. Let's let's uh, set up the buses. So, where are we going to place our bus depot? We need a good place because we're going to be adding a lot of bus lanes. And it's going to be interesting. Now, you see this spot here. I don't want to place it in... Do I want to place it in a busy area? Probably. A busiest area. What about here? This opening bit here that nothing is on. It's just a simple road across... This looks like the place where you would do it, wouldn't you? Between the industrial. Uh, so, yeah. This is going to cost money, by the way, when I set this up. But that's fine. So, the bus plate depot is now being placed. But, like I said, I'm not going to actually go until it's all set up. And then we can add extra garage, electrical buses. I see. Um, interesting. One thing I don't like about this game, and I wish you could, it would it get rid of the pavement and just have the road connect. I feel like it's missed out there. But I bet there's a mod that comes out later that will do that. So you're not just driving over the pavement. But this is a very nice bus depot. And what we can do is we can place a road. I'd say next to it here. And connect this up. And then have one this side as well. So it gives options to the residents. Yep, yeah, sorry about your house. 
Um, I guess we delete that one. Okay, and there you go. Bus depot set up. Now what do we do? Extra garage. I'm assuming this is for extra buses. So I can place it at the back here then. But yeah, it's looking pretty cool, this. It all connects up neat neatly. And now we need to add bus routes. What do we do now? So we built the bus depot. Um, now, can be upgraded with a taxi stop. Um, bus signs. And then you've got taxi depot. So there's lots of things we can do, but obviously we're starting with buses. Let's see if we can upgrade any other public transport. So we can get to train next. We can get to tram, uh, subway. Lots of things we can do there in the public transport, which is what this episode's all about. Public transport. So, how do we start off here? We've done the upgrade. So head to buses, I guess. And then we just had a bus stop. Right, well, obviously, this is the, the start. So, I think where we're going to add bus stops. Right, well, we'll have one stop for the industrial section. But I don't want to stay here. So, right, make sure we're on the right side of the road. We're playing, we're driving left. So, turn right down here and have a bus stop just here, I'd say. That'll do fine. Okay, and then we could place another one. We need to go round. So, it's we're making bus routes, aren't we? So, we could have a bus stop. It's very busy here, I've noticed. The cars get quite busy, but we could have another one here. People are liking this. So that's two down already. Uh, then we could have the bus go into the country. Yeah, it could go here. And then just before the roundabout, we could have one here. Um... Then down this road here, place one there, and then have one here, one here. Yeah, that's good. Down this, just here. Okay, how's the bus getting out here? That's the only issue. Um. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We could. Uh, I got an idea here. So. Put one more here. So as you come round here, we can place one there. We're going to buy a tile here. Because it's a good idea. So we'll buy a tile. Was it here where we were? Yep. So we buy this tile. It's fine. We purchase the tile. And now we can make some bus... Bus routes. Public transport lane. There you go. This is what we're after. So when the bus comes out, we can have a little one here. And this is going to take us. Take us to the windmill area. So let's make it curvy. Guess we'll have to go high here. Guess we'll have to buy another tile. Yes, yeah, so we go along the river. This is actually quite cool. So the bus goes along the river. And then we turn this way. I mean, that, this is one way of avoiding so much traffic, by the way. So basically, you have like a little bus journey. Down over the road, just so you avoid all this. I hope they use this. I think this is pretty cool. I don't think many cities do this, and I think they should have um, direct routes for track taxis and stuff. Right, and then we're back on the road, basically, here. So let's start doing bus stops again. So basically, now we're in over here, aren't we? Right, and then we'll turn left here, go here. One here. Now, that looks like a full circle to me. Oh, I don't know. I'd rather wait an hour in traffic than have to start thinking about it. 
Besides, if I didn't right, get, yeah. I'd never get so we use that little bus depot road to get around a lot of the bend here. But we could always have more. And I think we should add another one between here and here. There's loads of open space here. So get the bus depot road here. Now, where, where the bus stops? There was one here, wasn't there? So you could have, like, it go over to here. So that's like a big shortcut. That bloody wire in the way. Just, you know, it's like a shortcut, isn't it? And there should be a load of them around, just all over the place, scattered. Loads of traffic here. Easy fix. Bus depot away like that. Right, so we've done that, but have we actually done any... Oh, right, bus lines. So here we go. This is important now. Um, oh, we should probably add some bus shelters as well, you know. Yeah, we've got a lot of bus stops, yeah, but what about bus shelters? What I, I, what I tend to find is um, bush shelters are better. They're normally like that as well. They're sort of not next to each other. They're sort of like crossway. So that's what we sort of want to do with all the stops is crossway. Sort of like that. Yeah. Well, that one's fine because they're quite uh, separate. But like here, for example, put one there and then put one like here and then one like here. Let's set the bus lines up. Bus tool. So how does this work? Um, drag. Is it like, was it like one where you just dragged it? Cadet bus stops to create a bus line. Ah, oh, I get it. So you have to click on it. We don't even have a bus station yet, by the way. We should probably place that down. This entire area is just going to be the bus area, isn't it? And there's your bus station. Right, so now go to bus lines. Go trying to figure out how this works. Well, how do I do this? Connect bus stops to create a line. Oh, I see. Right. So this bus, I click this bus actually. So create a line. And then that goes to there, right? So that's stop one. Then it will go down. That'll be stop two. So this one could go to here next. That'll be stop three. So it'll go down the roundabout here. That'll be stop four. This way. Stop five. Stop six. This is going to be like the main one, so it's going to basically go all the way around all the stops here. It's going to avoid these stops around here. It's actually going to go here. That's going to go on the bus deck. So all the way around. Like so. And then we're going to reach the stop here. Right, and then it's going to take the shortcut to here. It's going to avoid that roundabout and go to here. Then here, then here, then here. Round here to here. All the way through the street down here. Oh, these are a lot easier to connect than the other ones, by the way. Here next. And finally, back to the station. And there we go. A full route. And that does a lot of the city. 
by the way. But it doesn't do all of it. That's the main route. That's like the central loop route. But we got way more bus stops to set up. So, for example, we're going to have one over here, aren't we? I do wonder... We need to make the other way now. Can we do that first? Let's do the other way first. Don't complicate things. So, go back to it. So, use this as the other way. So, this is going to go the opposite way. It's going to come out. It's going to go left instead. Down here. Right? And then it's going to go here. First of all. And then here. It's going to basically go the same route as it's just the opposite way around. And there you go. Second bus. Oh, done. Right, so that's like the two main link-ups, right? Now we're going to do different area buses, you know, that don't stop as much. So this one, for example, is going to go only to the outskirts. So click on it. And then our first, we're first going to go this way. Actually, you know what? I'm going to place a bus road here. So this is an outskirts one. So we're going to place a diagonal to there like that. Right, so let's grab the bus route. Right, let's start off by going... So here's what I'm doing. I messed up because I can't actually go. That's all like one-way traffic. We're not going to put a bus route in. We're just going to do the bus route normally. So... Start off here. Go as normal down here. Have a first stop here as well. And then... Do your usual one all the way... To here. But go here instead. Go across here like this. And then you could actually get up to here, which is what we want to be. Oops. No, just that. Connect that up. That's it. Then come down here. Stop off here. So this bus is like an outskirts bus. It only goes to far places. Right? And then... Roundabout up. Cross road. Um, can I go this way? I can. And then we just want to get it back to the station now, really. So we could drop it off here. Have one drop here. And then back you go. Outskirts bus. There you go. So you got your little outskirts bus there. Sort of like a circle sort of bus. Right. Now we'll have another bus. This one's going to only go to the centre. So, like... Hmm, I don't know actually how I'm going to do this. Charles, I think we've got enough set up for now. Let's play and see what happens. I'm kind of interested to see what's going to happen here. How the buses are going to work. Um, I'm going to give this a little save. If I try... Um, Right, let's see how this goes. Probably going to start losing money from all that maintenance, but we'll see. So, interested to see how the bus stops. Oh, here we go. Right, let's slow it down because I kind of want to see this in action. So, bus one's coming out. Bus two's coming out. Bus three. Off they go. Quite interested to see how this works. If I set it up right. Oh, it doesn't cause traffic problems. All right, people getting on. Oh, I'm not sure about that. How do the bus shelters look anyway? Pretty cool.
Healthcare all right? It's fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't click anything. Well, we're still getting money from even all those bus uh, stuff. All right, buses are operating. Look at this. Lovely. Good to see. It is. It really is. The public transport. Hmm. Traffic is becoming a slight concern. Oh, it is seven in the morning, to be fair. If it doesn't improve later on, it's like at one o'clock. The traffic's a lot better in this game than it is in one because in one it was such such traffic simulator that's all you were thinking about the traffic hey i'll tell you what it's working wonders i really want to see a bus on here i guess it's not gone that far far round yet is there not a way to just like follow the bus i want to be able to follow the bus surely you could do that there's a lot of buses. Right, bus one, that's the one we want to follow because that's the one that's going to go all the way around. How do we watch it? Camera? Lens, colour, weather, environment. Look at all the people going into the depot. I must be making a fortune off the buses. I'm not too sure about this. Can, can they not implement the traffic to not be an idiot? That'd be nice. So there's stop one for people who are dead lazy. No, I think it's people getting on. I'm not, I'm not too sure about this driving. It's it's very interesting driving going on here. It's not a way to follow the bus. Can I not like? Oh, you can see where the passengers want to go. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Right. Let's go into camera mode then. Uh, hide UI. There, yeah, we can follow this bus now. I really they need to patch this. It's annoying me. The car just diving through the bus. What? He's, what sort of like... The way he just got off on the bus there and... This is like... Unbelievable what I'm seeing. What? Surely you're not this stupid. Sh oh god, the garbage trucks are like going everywhere as well. They're going to be waiting in this cup. Right, well, at least he's in place now. I'm not actually too sure. why like why the traffic i thought there were going to be crashes in this game but like, you better slow down when you pick someone why is this annoying me it's kind of annoying me i don't know why i mean i'm gaining profit so i really shouldn't care but it's like i like realistic games man what can i say i like it to be as realistic as possible Oh god, there's high rent everywhere. I'm just having a bit of fun with public transport right now. I just want to see a bus go on the bus path all the way across here. Oh yes, here we go. Okay, he's slowing down. He understands, he can't just... Now how cool does this look? It's like your very own train, but it's a bus. And look how much you avoid. You may avoid all those lights. It's a nice little tube 
gets you to where to be. I think it's pretty cool, personally. Ooh. How's he going to do over the hill? Fine. And what a view as well. Look, you get to drive across the windmills. And then, obviously, you head over back to the road after this. Not giving way or anything like that. So, bus one doesn't go um, down here. That's another bus. And there you go. Off you go. Gaining money. So, transport works. Transport definitely works. Oh, wait. It doesn't work, actually. <laughs> So how are we look at all services for you know, public transport? So it's costing me this much. What's a good amount? I mean, I'd say somewhere between green and red, maybe around there. We've only just set it up. I'm kind of interested to see where this will go. But let's actually solve the money issue by Raising the prices? Can we do that? Is that possible? Can we, like, go into the bus services and see... No, it's not. Production. I mean, this is working wonders. These farms and stuff. Oh, wait, no, we're getting profits again. 43,000. Guess it... Obviously, it's the maintenance cost of all the new roads and stuff. Oh, no, what's happening over here? Maybe... We should check on crime. It's been a while. Prison availability. Hmm. Look where it's red. Yeah, we're definitely going to need a police station around here. Maybe. Maybe here. It's going to cost a bit that maintenance cost, but it will. Surely be fine. Oh, it's right next to the bus depot. Guess that's a good place for it. Right, so to gain more money, I think we should make another tile of houses. And I was thinking now that we've literally just given ourselves all this space, that this makes perfect sense. Grab the grid section. And look at that, boys. That's going to be a lot. And what I'm going to do again is use the alleyways because I think this is a cool way of doing it. And these little sections here, just in the middle centerpiece. Oh, wait, no, the grid section could work here. If we do something like... Oh, no, that has not worked. Right, delete that. Change that back to a main road. Wait, why don't I just... I could have just... It's fine. Well, what I wanted to do with the alleyways was this. Then delete this bit. And this was like the commercial section, so... Get the commercial. Oh yeah, pause when we're doing this. So set your commercial up again. Add a car park. I think a one car park in a commercial area is a nice idea. And then the rest is just residential. So, yeah. I'm going to need more bus service after this. Right, so that should all start building up now. Local stargazers are in for a real treat tonight. As the Aurora Borealis is expected to so more people are going to live here, which means right, more profits. More people using the bus service. I want to obviously turn a profit on the public transport. I don't want it to be negative, you know. That. So now that all the buses are actually around the city, it's not looking as bad anymore, is it? I thought it was going to be hell on earth, but... No, it turns out it's fine. I actually can't seem to spot a bus anymore. Oh, wait, no, there they are. There's an award. Right, let, let's see you pull out properly, you know? Mm. It seems that uh, we seem to be having a money issue again. But it'll be interesting to see when we get all this new land what will happen.
I think I know how we can sort our money issue out. It's called making more industrial areas. You know, little livestock areas. For example, we got all this space here. Why not use it? You know? So let's grow to... Where is it? Production. How did I do this again? That was it. Carrots, maybe. Well, let's buy a tile. Let's not be stupid about this. Let's buy this tile. I know we were doing public transport, but money is an issue again, so... I'm going to go with what worked in the past, which was... Some carrots. We connect this farm up properly. Guess it's close enough. Right, so that's carrots down now, I'm assuming. Some more grains. Is that going to help our money? Or do we need another fucking stone quarry? Oh, whoa. What's going on here? How close is our fire department? Oh, they're not far away. They're only here. That's some fire. Jesus. Oh, the carrot farm grows. Good. Matt, I think it's time for some more industrial buildings. Got plenty of areas where we can have one. We're paying for a lot of maintenance. We've got a new landfill, which is a bit of a problem. I say we just build more industrial. Should we do a thing where we build some over the highway? Like build, buy another tile and build some over here. That might be a problem. Oh, that's too far away from houses, isn't it? Suppose here then, because like this house is just there, isn't there? So yeah, why not? Buy this tile. Make a nice grid of the industrial area. Oh, there's a train track. Be careful of that. Yeah, nice little more industrial land to live in. Next to the farms. Don't build any industrial there. We're getting very close, I'd say. But this is not a bad idea. Quite amazing that, isn't it? That big stone thing. Right, I'd say that's okay for money. We, uh... We've done quite a lot today, I'd say. I mean, I, I, I'm very happy with what we've done. Another industrial area set up. Another commercial and residential area set up. I'm looking at the wrong ones. It's over the river here. Yeah, there. I think before we go, this is just banging to be a residential area isn't it let's be real look at the size of it it's perfect size let's just go mad with this grid this will be the last thing we do today i mean look at all this space so much And we're only asking for green, so that's what we're going to do. They wanted more demand. I'll give them more demand. That's for sure. Pause a second, though. I think we should stick a park in the middle of this. So dezone this. And let's go to parks. Maybe look for some better parks. Park maintenance, large parks, sports parks. Ooh. Okay, let's have a look at those options. Somewhere to walk your dog's always nice. And then we could have a sports park as well. Where's that? What could we give a basketball court next to it? Tennis court. Add some trees as well. 
by the trees. I feel like we're lacking trees a little bit. Why would they be under trees? Yeah, it's not really going to work, is it? Trees in this game just... Oh, place mortal pole. And then put the strength way up. We want to, we want to like flood this place with trees. There we go. Play. A driving advisory has been issued for the. Gonna really come together when you put the residential up. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service. Still negative but i don't think it's too bad anymore like minus 50 thousand is nothing compared to what i was getting at some points when i didn't understand the game a new signature building probably should add some of those but yeah this is what how the city is progressing guys we are looking nice we've got a nice big place residential area a nice bridge across with a roundabout so it's a nice new area that you can live I think I'm going to need to add an elemental school here, to be honest. Look at this little gap here. This looks like the place where we should add a school. And uh, I think a high school might be... I don't think we need a high school, but an elemental school would probably not be a bad idea. So we'll grab one of those. People have education now. I know it ta you take a hit every time you do education, but... It's been fun. I've really just enjoyed playing City Skylines again. I know... It's been a while since the last episode, guys. I can only apologize. I've been very ill. Being ill is not fun. It's really not. And I hate it because I don't get to record. But I'm getting back into my habits again. Playing Six Skylines, playing Cyberpunk, playing Warhammer. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you want more Six Skylines, let me know in the comment section below. If you think I'm doing something wrong and you want to roast me, do you say that is... What, is it going to flood? Is that going to flood? No, 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 it's not. I was wondering for a second there. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.